This week looks like a pretty amazing week. I don't know about you, but I can feel spring is in the air already. Hi and welcome back. My name's Francisca, Air or Fran, and I do pick a card readings and other spiritual content, which I want to get back into a bit more because I have been a little bit slack on that front uh, and yeah I'm sort of enjoying the feeling of spring I've got the door wide open and I saw some little leaves growing on one of the willow trees yesterday on my walk and it was like oh how nice there's a real sense of the energies coming back you know it's flowing through nature and really getting things going again so yeah it's nice to see so anyway, I also just had a lady pop in who gave me this beautiful little stone <laughs> that she painted, which is lovely. She's somebody who knows me off the internet, but what a beautiful gift. So that's going to sit here by the cards today. Um, so yeah, we've got an interesting week coming up with a few different influences energetically out there at the moment. Things are a little bit haywire still, you know, lots of different things are happening in different countries. Here in New Zealand, I think we're pretty lucky. It's not too crazy. You know, when I watch YouTube videos about people in other places and, and what they're experiencing, I think we're quite blessed here. So, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. So, anyway, let's get started on the reading. If you haven't already, please pick row one, two, or three, and we'll get on with it <laughs> so for row ones we've got a real energy of change change is the best way i can put it that's what i'm feeling for row ones without looking at the cards you know i am an intuitive reader not not just a tarot reader i do the tarot online because it's easier to be more specific rather than be too broad psychically it's pretty hard to read everybody out there you know <laughs> So yeah, that's why I use them in this, but yeah, intuitively, row ones, changes, changes, changes are coming. So we start the week on Monday and Tuesday with the Seven of Cups, which is really, really powerful in the sense is that you're looking at ideas, concepts, your mind is playing with concepts and ideas, things you could do new beginnings that you might want to try out so allow yourself to daydream a bit you know daydreaming is actually quite important our mind is very creative as the law of attraction has proven what we think we you know can create and become so allow yourself that but also try and remember some of it so maybe write it down so you don't forget it as soon as it's you know passed through because you are actually creating some really good new ideas at the moment and you don't want to forget them all so there are some choices to make midweek Wednesday and Thursday we've got the lovers which can refer to a relationship um, with a lot of you know chemistry a lot of attraction but it's also an influence of choices and making the right choices for you so all the thinking earlier in the week is going to lead you midweek to looking at your choices, making some decisions, looking at what you actually really, really want. And that may be about a relationship, or it may be about your job, or it may be about your health. But choices that are right for you. This isn't about making anybody else happy but yourself. So trust your gut. You're going to be making decisions on Wednesday and Thursday. So by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got an influence a lot of people don't actually like to see. But there's nothing wrong with it it's the death card <laughs> it looks sinister but it's actually we all go through multiple small deaths and new beginnings through every lifetime um, and this is saying you are going through a rebirth you're completing some important things in your life there's an ending there but it's also going to lead you to a new beginning so that will come in the next reading after this one but definitely time to shut the door on things that no longer work for you. Um, goodbyes are hard. Shutting doors is hard. As humans, we do like the familiar and what feels comfortable. But in this instance, yeah, it's, it's good for you to be able to do that and to look forward to 
what's coming you're making space for what's coming into your life and what's coming into your life I feel very very strongly is going to be quite big and it's going to be important and yeah it's going to be an awesome creation so yeah it's time to make some room for it have faith know that you can do this you are strong and carry on yeah so that's a pretty powerful time of changes for row ones um very very strong influences and very very clear okay for row two we've got an influence that's sort of looking at the more sort of not material aspects of life but your direction where you're going with with work and the material work and how you earn your income and things like that so Monday and Tuesday it's about counting your blessings, it's abundance, it's saying that things are looking good for you on that level, um, so if you've been working with the law of attraction that's definitely going to be paying off, um, you've got a lot of new things coming into your life, if you're looking for a pay raise Monday or Tuesday is the day to ask for it because it's a time of increase, it's a time of financial abundance on Monday and Tuesday in the material sense and it may be something as simple as somebody giving you a gift that's not money you know just something beautiful or you attracting the home or something else you wanted but you're definitely on a good place important part of the law of attraction is gratitude so when good things come in it's good to be grateful for the goodness that's coming into your life because you're certainly going to be feeling it early in the week by Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the Four of Cups. That's decisions and choices once again, much like row one, you've got some to make. Um, they're about doing what's best for you. You've got some opportunities, different ideas, concepts, and it's time to choose one. Um, it's something I often say to people in readings, you know, pick one and start because while we've only got everything in the area of ideas it's kind of floating around out there as energy but when we actually start walking towards it we're moving that energy into the physical and propelling it forwards it's like a snowball you know it grows as the more energy and the more movement forwards it gets so this is saying choose something stick with it and go forwards with it and you're going to do really really well so that's the key here and that can be yeah I think in this case it's more to do with your life path your career the work you love to do if you've got a job but do something else you really love it's more about what you love rather than what you have to do you know so focusing on that it's amazing what people create businesses and careers and work out of especially nowadays with the internet you know there's so many um, digital nomads out there doing all sorts of things remotely so there's some good ideas there so pick one start with it <laughs> by the weekend we've got the Hierophant which is stating you know doing things the right way it's saying don't try dodgy ways to get things done <laughs> basically stick with what's acceptable try and not be conventional but sort of stick to what what people accept if you get too out there you might get some opposition to your ideas it's also saying that you may be able to share some spiritual wisdom because your life path as a teacher and somebody who can share wisdom is becoming stronger so start working with that you have got some really good knowledge and ideas you can share with people and over the weekend you may feel compelled to do that whether you do it with people you meet or online by posting some inspirational things you're certainly in that role of teacher and somebody who can uplift people over the weekend um, also with relationships it's saying be true to you um, if somebody's asking you to do something that doesn't feel right to you don't do it you know <laughs> you deserve the best have faith in that don't don't be inclined to spend time with somebody who doesn't value you and who you are that is really really important and the message is very very profound with that to value who you are you've got really beautiful gifts um, and to make the most of that so yeah well it looks pretty awesome for row two as well so for row three 
it's a feeling of creating and almost like you're holding back from something that's for you that's what I'm feeling there's something wonderful coming for you but you're kind of a little bit hesitant so we start the week on Monday and Tuesday with the seven of swords which actually really shows that it's like you're holding back you're not wanting to fully commit maybe and yeah you're just not a hundred percent sure and and that's okay you might just need a couple of days to mull it over we need to give ourselves time to process ideas and things for a while sometimes but don't let it hold you back for too long trust your intuition you've got a strong intuition if you've picked row three it's very strongly saying you have that have faith in that that's beautiful it's something that will guide you so try not to overthink things and to have faith also keep out of other people's dramas <laughs> there's another message with that if other people around you are having dramas you don't have to buy into that you don't have to subscribe to their drama and get involved you know step back have faith they're quite capable of working it out themselves so wednesday and thursday we've got the knight of pentacles and that is work <laughs> but good work positive work um, it's saying work at what you love, focus on it, give it your attention. If you're working and your mind's elsewhere already on to the next task, and that's something I know I do sometimes. I tend to get a bit too far ahead of myself sometimes, and I'm already on the next thing I need to do and have to bring myself back into the present moment and go, no, right now I'm doing this. So this is saying focus, stay focused, stay clear on what you're doing and you'll actually enjoy the process more and you'll get more done Wednesday and Thursday are just about getting things done it's a brilliant time to achieve what you want to you can also work well with others at this time to get things completed so you're completing something you're working hard you're dedicated and yeah it's a busy midweek you're going to have a busy time but it's positive because it's taking you where you want to go Okay, so on Friday, Saturday and Sunday we've got the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is saying don't be afraid to ask for help. <laughs> A lot of people who are naturally healers, intuitive, sensitives, spend their life doing for others and don't like asking other people for help and I feel that's the message in this case for row threes, you're the, the helpers, the doers, the people who are always there for others but the weekend is a time to have some of that return to you you know you've probably got friends who'd quite like to help you but feel like they're intruding if they you know try because you're always doing so let them in let them help you ask for help you're actually going to enjoy it do something together with others whoops the cat's coming in clonk crash eh, well, hello right Hmm? <laughs> she's looking at me as if to say oh you're talking to that camera again you silly human <laughs> anyway yeah so it's a time of receiving help being open to receive in some cases it may mean that you're helping somebody else but well here she comes yep tarot cards she's always got to climb on them come and say hi there we go say hi no <laughs> She always likes to interrupt at the end of things. When I used to do the fairs, every afternoon at about three, she would come in and sit on the cards as if to say, it's enough now. <laughs> it's her thing. Um, but she's obviously become less patient as she's gotten older. <laughs> yep, so also you may be helping somebody else. You know, be open to that. If you're not receiving help, you may be helping somebody else but it's working together it's kindness it's genuine it's not a deal it's not a I do for you and you do for me it's genuine it's kind it's loving and it's it's real help so enjoy it allow yourself to receive that is what I'm feeling intuitively is a message for row threes um, and allow others in to support you they might not be able to actually help you but just they might cheer you on a bit, you know, which would be lovely too. So 
Now, it looks like a pretty awesome week for all three rows. Um, I've got a cat's bottom on my cards now, so it's lucky that I've read them all <laughs> because I can't see them. And have a lovely week. I hope you're having an enjoyable weekend. Please like and subscribe. It helps in the whole YouTube algorithm. It's one way you can, you know, return the favour in a sense or help out is by doing that and lots and lots of love to you and see you all next time. Bye.